Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am super, super, super excited to try out this foundation. Oh my God, I'm like cheer clapping. I'm so excited. Uh, where are my pom-poms? I have the Vanish Liquid Foundation from Hourglass to try out. You guys know I have talked about the Vanish Stick Foundation over and over and over and over and over and over and the Vanish Highlighters um, also that are cream and in a stick. I love those. I love the ambient powders from Hourglass. Haven't really gotten into their lip products or eyeshadows, not huge on their primer, but like it's one of those brands where when I love stuff from them, like I die hard love. So Vanish Stick Foundation is one of those that does not cling to dry areas, but it's very full coverage, makes you look radiant and somehow very rested and hydrated and balanced, but not greasy blends really evenly and easily and I love it. So when I found out that they had a liquid, I, I cried happy tears. This video is not sponsored. I was kind of shocked to see a lot of sponsored videos on this product going around. I feel like this is how it is now, you guys, all right? I have said no to so many brands so often that I feel like the girl that's just like turned down too many guys and they're like, well, forget you. We're not even gonna ask anymore. So, and I'm good with that. Like I'm totally good with that. But it's so funny because I don't even know like really what sponsorships are happening or what's going around because I really don't get asked to do them anymore. And that's not like, again, like not shading anybody else or like, oh, why me? Cause I like, I don't wanna do them. But it is funny that it's going around. Like, I don't, do they, I don't think that Hourglass is like a larger brand that does a lot of sponsorships very often. So I did find that really interesting. I personally feel that a lot of their products are so great that as a brand, I don't, I don't think they really need to go that route. Maybe that's just me, maybe I'm crazy, um, but their products are great. So here's hoping this one is fantastic and I'm not spending the entire intro being like, yeah, hourglass, woohoo! And then I put it on and I'm like, oh no, this is what the bottle looks like. This was sent to me, full disclosure. I have three shades, let's hope one matches. I did in the past try one of their liquid foundations. It was like a liquid powder foundation. It had something to do with powder, even though it was not powdery or like, a weird product or anything like that. It was just a very like mattifying liquid foundation and I did not like that. So it's interesting, like, it's not interesting actually. That's just a random fact. <laughs> it's too early. I have not had, I haven't had all my coffee yet. So forgive me, my brain is not making a lot of sense to me, probably not making sense to you. <laughs> cool. Um, I'm just gonna, I need more nourishment actually. Side note. It's bizarre how obsessed I am with these. You guys, Starbucks has these like little egg bites. They're actually the best thing you've ever had in your life. They're so good. If you're someone that's like keeping high protein and not doing like as many carbs. Mm. It's so good. It's probably really got a lot of sodium. So good. Too dark. What? These three are not doing it. And I probably will purchase a different shade. Let's look at the shade range, shall we? Killer shade range. Wow. Like that is a great shade range. Okay, so. Oh, Stop, this sounds so good. I think it's gonna be a good makeup day, you guys. Okay, so I'm so excited for this. This is a highly concentrated liquid foundation designed to deliver instant full coverage with just half a pump. Yeah, no, excuse me, I'm gonna need more than that. Guaranteed. Whenever I try to use a modest amount of foundation, and I don't go over overboard, but whenever I try to be like, okay, don't overdo it, I have a hard time blending things. Things grab, it gets a little bit blotchy splotchy, and I just need a little more to kind of smooth things out. So I'm gonna try to not go like the full crazy with this, because it says half a pump, no primer needed. What? Okay, so I guess we're not, um, we're not priming, apparently. <gasps> 
No, I love primer, um, but we're gonna try it without primer. Okay, it says it's full coverage, natural finish. Love that. I like things to be balanced. Balance me. I don't wanna be dewy. I don't wanna be matte. I wanna be human, you know, like balance. It states this is for normal, combo, or oily, which is really interesting. I feel like the Vanish Stick is more geared toward combo to dry. If you have oily skin, that product, in my opinion, is not gonna be great for you because it does have such a slip to it. This also says light reflecting nano, mano, ma, hmm. light reflecting microspheres blur and create a soft focus finish. The formula is also not gonna clog your pores. It's waterproof, transfer proof, and sweat proof. I can get my workout on in this. That's so good. It only has three stars. It's $56, you guys, but keep in mind, it says you're gonna use a half a pump and you do get not even a full ounce almost a full ounce. This is a vegan product. It is made here in the States. The one that I have here that I have bisque, I'm probably more shell, which is light with neutral undertones. The one I have is bisque, which has warm undertones. And I like to do more neutral uh, just because I do have interesting undertones in my skin. Let's just get going. Not, I'm not priming. Weird. I'm gonna work off a palette. We're gonna start small. We're not taking a ton of product, but I am mixing two shades together just because I need my foundation to match. I am gonna use their foundation brush, and if we hate this, we'll switch over to a beauty blender. So let's just grab a little bit of the product and start going. Ooh, that is a lot more yellow for some reason. What? That is some like legit full coverage though. Stop it. I mean, don't stop it. Give it give me all of the coverage, but make me look natural. That's really all I want, you know? And I want it to be fast too. There's this meme that says, I'm a realist, I believe in miracles. And that is like, that's 100% my approach with makeup. Now, I know that we can't expect makeup to like turn us into our favorite celebrity and like, you know, make us look Photoshopped, but you can find products that will come gosh darn close. You know, there are incredible products out there. So I'm hard on them, I know, but I just only wanna find like the good good. Not the kind of good, not the so-so, like the good, good, good. This is very yellow. Why do I feel like Jim Carrey in the mask whenever I wear a yellow foundation? I also feel like sometimes when I'm reading like the Sephora website to you guys that it sounds like an infomercial. The pitch that they have on here when you read it, it is very infomercially. It just is. Like imagine like a little bit of like cheesy music underneath. Coverage, full, finish, natural, formulation, liquid, skin type, normal, combination, and oily. Ingredient callouts, free of parabens. We're also vegan and cruelty free. What else must you know? We're a highly concentrated formula that provides full coverage with minimal product. Sounds like an infomercial, but I kind of like, I want it, you know? In a different color though. So this is not as low maintenance as the stick vanish. This took me a minute to blend everything in. If you rub or do the wrong move in one area, you're gonna like lift the foundation and have a bald spot. So it's best to actually just really stamp the product in. The brush is a little bit challenging. I think I prefer a beauty blender or a beauty sponge of any type to really just press the product in. It is exaggerating some dryness right here, which I haven't had that much of an issue with recently. I had that issue with the Morphe foundation, but the 24 hour wear from L'Oreal, you guys know I've been reaching for that one a ton. I don't really have the biggest issue in this area with that one. So I'm kind of disappointed. I had wished that I would like this more straight out the gate, but I am not giving like my, my final score just yet. I want to put powder, concealer, everything on top of it, see how it wears, see how it warms up with my skin's natural oils and all of that. So before I dive into the rest of my makeup, I did want to give you guys a close up. I am trying to do that or remember to do that. I actually physically have to move my camera forward. So I'm sorry guys. I know it's like, I wish I could just like hit a button and zoom. I can't, I literally like climb up on my desk to do <laughs> close ups. I don't think it 
looks good. I don't either. You can see dryness right here, huh? Yeah. I can feel it too. All right, well, I'm already in this, so I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and we will full day wear test it. It looks like I'm having such a great skin day and really the truth is I'm not. This area right here is very, very cakey up close. It's not bad, bad, bad. It's not like terrible, awful where I'm just like, I can't leave the house, I feel so ugly. It's not bad, bad. It's just, this looks heavier than what I am used to and do not get anything twisted. I love a good full, full coverage foundation. I love straight up concealing my face with RCMA and really just canceling everything out. I don't mind full coverage. I just don't like it to sit on top of the skin and grab at any dry areas. And I feel like this foundation is doing that just a teeny tiny bit. So we are gonna see how this wears. It'll probably fall apart even more. Let's just call it what it is. I do feel like this isn't an all skin types product. They should have marketed maybe more for combo leaning oily because it isn't a straight natural finish. It does feel a little bit more matte to me and a little bit more of the kind of thing that's gonna exaggerate lines here, lines here separated like right at the nose, lines here, a little dryness. So, you know, I don't hate, hate it, but I'm not wowed the way that I thought I would be because just of the name and because I love Hourglass. It's a weird thing, like looking in the monitor, I'm like, oh, it looks great. You look dewy, you look good. Really, it was just an obscene amount of highlighter and MAC Fix Plus that got us to this place. I will do a bunch of check-ins. We're gonna do some more close-ups so that you guys can see everything separating right here that I'm talking about, because I know from far away you guys can't see that. And we'll just take it from there. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I am really hoping that you guys can see this. So what I've been talking about is my forehead right here normally does not look so dry. And like this area over here is like, oh, I almost scratched my eye, is like breaking apart. <sighs> From far away, it looks good. It looks nice. Close up, uh, around the nose, it's a little like collected and you can see like right here, it's just like a thick, thick foundation and the vanish stick is thick as well, but it doesn't grab or collect the way that this one is. Again, I think this is better suited for oilier skin. Not my skin, not my combo skin because right here looks horrible. My husband just told me I'm ugly. I did not, that's a total <laughs> lie. He said, wow. How many layers of foundation are you wearing? I said you look beautiful. 
he did say that I look beautiful. He likes my eye makeup, but he said, wow, that's just not a good foundation, right? And I'm like, if James is saying that, who can't remember what my makeup is day to day, as most, you know, straight men don't remember your makeup looks from day to day in detail, I wouldn't expect you to. But if he's walking in when I'm filming going, ooh, like that's not a good foundation, huh? Like, ah, that says something. All right, I'll see you guys in a few more hours from now. Here's the real scoop, you guys. I have gone around my house looking for flattering lighting to make this foundation <laughs> look better, but I can't figure it out. So uh, here we are in my bathroom and uh, I still need to hang that painting. Oh my God. So I'm going to give you a good, good oh, don't mind my hand. Always testing, swatching, trying something, you know, I'm going to give you that good close up. Oh my God. No. Like, look at this. Are you kidding? Look at that. What the hell? This is the gnarliest foundation. My foundation does not do this. You guys, my skin is normally way better than this. Like, stop it. Now, I want to be very, very clear that I adore Hourglass. Their ambient powders are a must-have for me in every travel bag, every travel situation, um, in the studio, in my bathroom, like obsession. The Vanish Stick Foundation for combo to dry skin is a dream come true. It is the best stick foundation out there, in my opinion. I've raved about it for years, which is why I was super curious and excited to try this one. I think this one is better for you know, combo leaning oily. I don't think it is for all skin types. It is too thick. I kind of feel like maybe if I had used a primer, it says not to, but maybe if I had used a primer, maybe I would have had a different experience. So there's a part of me that's like, maybe I'll try it one more time. But you guys, like this is not how my, my makeup usually breaks down. Like it's blotchy. And then up through here, oh Lord, oh my God, what is happening? I am oily and dry simultaneously not a good product for me um so while i enjoy hourglass so much so much oh, it pains me doing this because i know this is like a big launch of theirs but i always have to stay true on my channel i just have to so you guys i feel like this is a very thick formula i think it's really hard to apply and blend perfectly it would be easy to have a tendency to use too much and then have the cakiness situation that i ran into it is pretty long wear so long as you don't touch your face at all i didn't experience oiliness until about the eighth hour which is pretty good um but it looked kind of dry in areas from the get-go so not my cup of tea not how i want my skin to look no sir i'm embarrassed to put this on the internet that's how bad it is for me um okay i need to go to bed i'm losing my mind i watched the bachelor stayed up past expiration as per usual so go team go this one was a pass get out of here vanish liquid and i'll cuddle the vanish stick i hope you enjoyed this i did not think it was going to go this way i actually thought i was going to love it so much and then people are going to be like you're sponsored and i'm like i'm uh, i don't know i'm kind of mystified right now so what do you guys think Am I wrong? Do I look beautiful? All right, uh, if you enjoyed this video, even though it was sadly negative, uh, give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate that. Share the video, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you ring that bell so that you're notified of my future uploads. I'm here Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10 a.m. PST. I hope you come hang out with me again. I have very cool videos planned and that are already in motion. All right. Good night, good day, I love you guys, and I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.